Hi, my name is Dick Holmquist and I come from Richmond, California and I had the opportunity provided by the Nation magazine to visit Iran and it's a country I've been intensely interested in because of all the negative things that have been said about it in the United States and once I got to Iran, and I'm at the airport getting ready to go home now, I've been in Iran for 10 days, I was impressed by how modern the city is, Tehran and Isfahan and Shiraz, three major cities, the, how large Tehran is, 12 million people, 10 million cars, 12 million motorcycles. I think I said 15 million people is the correct one. And uh, when I was going down the street this morning uh, in a bus, uh, it actually had some of the aspects of New York City in terms of its hustle and bustle. Uh, the sanctions have hurt mainly the common man in Iran. It's really a hard scrabble land. Everyone works extremely hard and I don't really feel that there's any justification for the sanctions. So it's been a privilege to come here. The excellent food, the beautiful women. And what kind of encounters did you have with, uh, with the Iranians? Well, at Persepolis, an elderly gentleman out with his family, young, old, middle aged, came up to me and said he wanted to take a photo with me. And uh, so he came up and he put his arm around me, I put his arm around him. And then at the end, he grabbed my head and then he kissed me. He turned my head so he could kiss me on the cheek. And uh, so the Iranians really like Americans. And this is in the cafeteria. It came true at the shrine of Ayatollah Khomeini. Uh, some young kids came up to us and they wanted to take a selfie with them us in the picture as well. So I encourage anyone to forget what the media says about Iran. Come to Iran and make up your own mind. Well, we thank you for coming to Iran and thank you for taking the time to share with people your impressions.